What's up guys, this is ShadowWolf810 and today I've got another awesome episode of Shadow Wolves featured here for you. Today I've got a sweet infection map for you. It's called Defend the Ship and it was made by Revenge547 is back. Now let's get into some judging categories now guys. First off is forging. The forging on this map is really nice. It's uh, straight, it's well done, so forging is going to get a very nice score. Uh, next is weapons. It's going to get a okay score for weapons. It's really good uh, in terms of balance and, you know, especially if you're playing with the recommended number of people. Only real problem I have with it is that all the weapons are located in one spot, more or less. So that can encourage a lot of camping because pe people want to, you know, sit there and be elite so they have all the ammo and everything. So that's a little bit of a downturn, which is going to lower its score a little bit. But as far as the spawns go, uh, the zombie spawns are far enough away from the actual map that there's pretty much no chance for them getting spawn killed, which is always a plus, so it's going to get a fairly good score for spawns. And aesthetics, I mean, just look at this map, guys. It's gorgeous. He even took time to put freaking cones next to the hornet there and also by hornet i mean falcon anyway uh and you can tell he took time to look at a picture of an aircraft carrier to you know get it looking just right so aesthetics is going to get a really nice score and as far as the size of the map goes because of the number of vehicles on it and you know how fast these vehicles actually travel the size of the map is pretty much perfect so let's go ahead and look at some final scores here you guys for forging it's going to get an eight out of ten for the weapons it's going to get a six out of 10. Spawn system, 7 out of 10. Aesthetics is going to be 8 out of 10. And size is 7 out of 10 for a final score of 36. And now we're going to get into today's commentary topic, which was submitted by Twixinator. And he wants to know, what inspired me to make YouTube videos and how did I get where I am today? So, as far back as I can remember, I started watching Halo 3 videos on YouTube when I was probably 11 or 12. I was getting interested in YouTube, you know, it just kind of come out and gotten popular. And uh, I wasn't very good at multiplayer, so I, I tried to forge a lot because that was really the only thing I was good at. And I was looking for guides on how to forge cool stuff like, you know, oh, here you can make an elevator or, oh my god, if you put a regenerator on a man cannon that's in the floor, it'll make it work again you know and just these little things are the type of things I was looking up like oh my god you can do this and uh, in some of the suggestions I found a montage of Yee Man is back and it wasn't a normal montage it was a puzzle map montage so it showed all these different challenges and it was just kinda promoting his puzzle map things and I was like, oh my god, I want to do this. And so, uh, first I started off just by downloading his maps, and I beat some of them. After I beat the first one, I was so impressed with myself. He was like a god to me. I was like, oh my god, I just beat E-Man his back's map. And I, I was one of the first to beat it. It was like a new one that he had just released or something like that. So I was really excited, and uh, I wanted to post a video. So I went and got my video camera, set it up on a tripod, and uh, played the theater film while I talked in my 12-year-old voice. I'll put a link to that video in the description if you want to hear Shadow Wolf as a 12 year old and uh, basically I actually I must have been at least 13 but point is that uh, that video got a lot of views because it was a new map and he was already pretty popular so a lot of people were looking for a tutorial on how to beat it and so I mean that video pretty much instantly got like three or four thousand views when I uploaded I was like oh my god that's ridiculous you know I was getting all these comments I was so excited I wanted to do it myself and so I just started playing more of his maps and posting them and uh, basically I really didn't know about subscribers or comments or all that stuff until I uploaded it and then people were like subscribing like dude that map was so cool do you wanna will you should make a video on my map and then basically people just started you know sending messages like hey will you look at my map and I was like yeah sure and then I had to think of a series name I was like hmm gamertag shadow wolf uh, what am I doing I'm featuring maps shadow Wolf's featured boom and that's how I did it and uh, basically the way uh, I became the cool person that I am today is because Yee Man was sort of a dick. Uh, once I finished my first puzzle map after beating a few of his, uh, I sent him a message and he never messaged me back. So I was like, oh, sad day. Well, he probably gets a lot of messages. You know, I kind of shrugged it off. Kind of like some of you guys send to me now. I, now that I'm in his shoes, I know why he didn't, uh, probably didn't reply, but still, it makes him sort of a dick. But uh, then after he found out about my videos and the ones that I was making about his maps, he was basically like, oh my god, dude, come come be in my party, you know, I'll, I'll look at your maps and all this cool stuff, just keep making videos of my maps. So I was like, wow, man, you're a dick. And once I found that out, I was just like, no. So, um... 
I started other featuring other people's maps, and I decided, you know, I'm not going to be a dick to my fans. I'm going to, you know, reply to comments if they're worthy. I'm going to pe feature other people's maps because he wouldn't take the time to look at mine. And, you know, uh, it that's just kind of how it worked. I started off with a camera. Uh, so I slowly started getting better equipment as I got more subscribers, you know, moved up to a... Uh, better quality mic at my new laptop and then I got a uh, better capture card and then another better capture card and then my HD PVR eventually and now we're up here to where I am right now with a sexy HD quality and a studio quality microphone recording these little YouTube videos for my like 2,000 subscribers so that's where I am today guys if I have any advice for any of you starting out just keep going it's been like two years and I'm just now getting where I am but I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I'll see you later so, I mean obviously me or any other person is not going to be smart enough to work on some other subject while they ramble on about something that we think is absolutely useless